Hello, in this video we're going to see how we can monitor daily changes on the mobile on the server side and do whatever has to be done to modify the idea data on the backend. So to monitor data we will need a new object uh, called the listener. So listeners are objects that you create under the FullSync connector here. So to create the listener, just new listener, very easy, and we're going to call this a FullSync listener. Okay, this is the default name, we can use it as is, and here it is. I have my listener here. So a listener will take two properties here. One will be a view to be used to filter uh, documents and say only these documents can be monitored. And the other parameter, the other property will be the sequence to launch when a, 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 a document is modified. So uh, we need a view to filter our sequences. So to do this, I'm going just to create a new view. And well, this view is very simple. We'll make a view that says, hey, give me all the documents. I just don't want to filter here. So new a view. And we're going to rename the view to all docs. OK, here it is. And of course, I have a map in this view. And by default, well, the default map is doing the work here, so I don't have to modify anything in my view. So this is OK. So now I have a view that gives me all the docs. Other thing I have to do is to build the sequence that will be responsible for handling data modifications to the backends. In this very s s uh, simple sample here, we are just going to take the document modified and to write it as an XML file on the DEX. Well, this is to simulate that we modified it on the back end. Of course, you can do something much more important like calling web services or m pushing data to databases or whatsoever. Just for this simple sequence here, we just write the data to a um, to the disk. So I will create a new sequence. This sequence here, I will say update data. Okay, and that's done. Now a sequence. Uh, responsible for, uh, for updating data has, and this is mandatory, a new variable and this should be a multi-evaluated variable, this one, because the sequence will receive a bunch of documents modified, not only one, can be a lot of documents modified, especially if you sync back from being on the offline mode, then you may have some several modified documents modified, so that's why it's a multi-evaluated and the name of the multi evaluated must be doc. And this is also mandatory. You cannot have another name. It should be doc only. Okay, so this is my, uh, my sequence. So what I would like to do in my sequence is to create a new step. First, we're going to use a very useful step we call input variables. This is just to help us pick some data here. And now I will iterate step, I will iterate on each document. Okay, so I have to iterate here. So here I will show my input bars in the picker. So input bars, my doc. And I have to add uh, iterate on each document. So as doc is a multi-evaluated variable, each item is a slash item. So I just will drag and drop drag in my iterator here good and I will modify my xpath and I will just make slash item okay this means on each item good now on the iterator I will have a new step and this step will be a very useful step we use a lot in Convertigo called write XML this step is responsible for writing a document to an XML file so I will just put a timestamp on this to be uh, each time I write I have a different timestamp. Okay, so I will source my uh, write XML to the item itself because this is the item I'm going to write. Here it is, and I just have to put a new property here to say where I want to write this data on the disk. So I will write it in a so as you see it's blue so that means it's JavaScriptable. So I have to put a JavaScript string here. I will put this in a uh, directory that is relative to the project. This means relative to the project in a data directory. And I will just make a news.txt um, 
the file where the data will be um, wrote, uh, written on the disk. So now everything is, is finished, so I can filter my documents. I know what to do when the document is modified. I just have to configure the full sync listener to do the job. So the full sync listener is here. Uh, what sequence should I launch when a document is modified? Well, I should launch the update data. And what is the filter for my view? Well, this is my all docs filter. And here we are. So now we have our uh, server side completely uh, done. So if you remember, we were uh, using uh, the client and so we did have some data here on the client side here. So now what I would like to do is to sync. If I sync, data modified on the client side will flow back to the server and the server will do the job and modify the data and called update data sequence for each modified document. So let's do this. So I test, I make a sync now. And we saw that the update data was uh, called. And let's, let's, let's see in the project explorer. And I have to refresh my directory here to be sure that the directory did came. I have a new data uh, directory here. And in my data, I have news came here. These are all the documents I modified last time in the previous video. And we show now that if I think the data has flown back to the server, and the server did write the data on the directory. Of course, if I open a data, I will see here uh, the data uh, on my disk. Okay, so this is the way we can sync back data from the client to the server using listeners and uh, views. Thank you for attending.